Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making your own website in Adobe Dreamweaver. Now most of the website is going to be made in Dreamweaver, but we're also going to be using Photoshop to do some of the minor designing for the website. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make your own website folder in anywhere you want on your computer. I've gone ahead and made mine in my documents. And in your website folder, make an images folder. And in your images folder, have ready any images that you want to use for your website. As you can see, I have a background image and a logo ready for this website. So I'm going to minimize that. And let's get started in Dreamweaver. In Dreamweaver, click on site, new site. And the first thing it's going to ask you for is for the name of your website. So obviously, mine is Octotuts. And the URL of your site, octotuts.com. Press next. No, I do not want to use their server technology. Press next. Uh, keep the recommended option selected. And then it's going to ask you where on your computer do you want to store your files. Uh, this is where you just browse for that folder that you made. Uh, obviously, mine is the octotuts.com folder in my documents. Press next. How do you connect to your remote server? I'm going to press none for now and press next. And you're pretty much done with defining your site. So press done. Next, we're going to go to file and click on new. And we're going to press create. This is going to create a blank HTML document for us. Uh, you're either going to end up in code, split, or design view. And either way, just switch to design view. And we're going to start by messing with the smaller things of the site. For example, the title. I'm going to change that to octotouch.com free HD tutorials. And I'm going to right click in this white area and go to page properties. And this is going to mess with the appearance of the page a little bit. The text color, I'm going to change that to black. The background color, I have that copied, so I'm going to paste that color in. And the background image, this is what I was using Photoshop for to make this little background gradient for the background of this website. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to find that image and put that in there. And the repeat, I'm going to put that to no repeat. Links, I'm going to change all the text colors to black or the link colors to black. And for the headings, title, encoding, and tracing image, I'm just going to leave that as the default. You could go ahead and mess with that if you want. Once you're done with that, just press OK. So this is what we have so far. Next, click on View. Table mode, layout mode, or Alt F6 for the shortcut key. And once you're in layout mode, you could do a couple things. One of the main things that you could do is use this button, draw layout table. If you don't see this button, you're probably not in the layout tab. You're, you might be in the common tab. So just switch over to layout, and you'll see this button on the right side. Click on the draw layout table button, and just draw a table. doesn't matter what the size is, because we're going to change the size over here. Uh, the width, change that to 900, and the height, I'm going to change that to 800, and the background, I'm going to make white. And then I'm also going to use the button right next to that, the draw layout cell button. And I'm going to click that and start making areas for where I want my logo and the main content of the site and all that type of stuff to go. So I'm going to make my logo around over here. Uh, I'm going to select it and change the width to about 400, and the height, let's do 100. And then let's make the background white. Next, select that, that draw layout cell button again. And I'm going to make uh, a navigation bar on the side. So let's make that about 300 uh, for the width. And for the height, let's do 25. And then let's do another one for the main content of the site right about here. I'm going to make this about let's say 700 and let's make the height 600 and then we'll do another one on the side for the advertising Put that over here and we'll make that 125 by 600 make sure to uh, change the background color to white I forgot to do that so let me go back fix my mistake And let's make one more on the bottom for the copyrights. Put that right about there. I'm just going to move this one over. And now let's start filling in our content. What this lets us do is pretty much type or put anything in these boxes. So for the logo box, obviously I'm going to put in my logo image. So I'm going to press insert. 
and click on image, find that logo image and put it there. Okay. And let's go to the navigation and let's start on our navigation. I'm just going to make some stuff up. Uh, let's say home about maybe a forum and contact. And I'm going to highlight all of these and make them bold. And also, if you want to add a link to these, which you should be doing, uh, you highlight the word, and then for the link over here, you just go ahead and add a link. I'm going to add a link to the homepage just to show you guys how it's done, octotuts.com. Let's add that link. And over here, this is where your main content goes. So I'm just going to type in main content. Uh, over here, this is where your advertising should go. I'll just type in advertising. And scroll down and over here, this is where your copyright should go. So I'm going to type in copyright. And that's it. We're pretty much done with this website. Now what we need to do is save it. So go to file, save as, and you want to save this as index. And the reason we save it as index, not home or a uh, default page or whatever, is because index is what lets your web hoster know that this is the first page that you should open up. So save it as index.html. Press save, and now you're done with saving it, and you're pretty much done with your website. Now what we're going to do is preview it in Firefox or your default web browser. So click right here and click preview in Firefox, and let this pop up, and there you go. This is our website so far. Uh, the logo is right here, main content, navigation, uh, advertising right here, and the copyright right there. Uh, if you would like to center the site, which I would highly recommend, uh, just go back to Dreamweaver, go to Code View, and scroll up right after the title. Uh, just press Enter and type in less than sign, center, greater than sign. And then just save that page again. File, save. And then let's preview that in Firefox and let's see how it looks now. As you can see, now the website is centered and we're pretty much done with this website. Go ahead, ha add your own content, add your own advertising, make your own links and your copyright and all of that stuff. And you have made your first website in uh, Dreamweaver. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys learned something new. Until next time, this is octotoots.com and I'll see you guys later.